going on everybody it's portal back with another madden ultimate team video guys and today i'm gonna be going over my madden 22 beta wish list now in terms of wish list what i mean pretty much is guys there's a list of things that i want to see changed before madden 22 officially does release now this doesn't mean like i don't want this in the game it means i want them to touch on it like there's some things in the game where i'm like that looks good but that needs to be sped up that needs to be slowed down that needs to be fixed right there's a few things that i, I know they're going to alter it, so i'm going to give you guys what i think what i've seen needs to be altered my biggest kind of quirks in terms of the madden 22 beta now guys before we get into the video hit that subscribe button turn that noti bell give this video a big thumbs up as always and comment down below what are your biggest quirks in the madden 22 beta let me know what's like the pros and cons down below now in terms i'll make a pros list next video but today i'm gonna do cons so my cons are this well when i'm running when you're with a certain player like certain big name players guys you notice that their animations are very realistic to their real life animations for instance when playing with patrick mahomes if you scramble outside the pocket or you're scrambling at all and you throw a ball crossbody or even like a high velocity ball in tight spaces he will sidearm like like what he does in real life which is super cool i like that now the only issue i have with some of these things are that when these passes do get to the player they tend to drop a lot of these passes now it's not because it's a crossbody it's just, i've noticed that certain contested uh certain contested animations aren't caught now this is what i'm trying to get to is that when you when you throw a streak up to metcalf right he will he will face catch you which is another con that i'll get into in a second he will face catch it but then when you throw it to a tight end or an another big receiver down they're not deep right not one-on-one -on -one. he they're on a, they're in zone coverage they either they get a spot in the zone you throw it to him and they go to catch the ball and they'll catch it and as they're running with it they'll get touched and drop it so i've noticed that can uh one-on-one -on -one, like tight coverage catches will be moss rocket catch type of uh, catches but then open zone catches like when you just throw a level sail in between a zone and you catch and you run with it and then get hit or get near anyone like footsteps they literally hear footsteps and will drop it me and zerk were playing i believe like a week ago uh one of our games and he caught the ball right he did like a, a i'd say a flag route he went like this he caught the flag he caught it he did a spin move after the catch, ran up field, and then my safety got near him, and he just dropped the ball. I never touched him. Now, if you guys know anything about football, that's a fumble. Like, I, it's okay if he drops it, but that's a fumble then, right? Because he caught the ball, turned around, did a spin move, which is a football move, and then turned up field afterwards. And then I got near him, and he just, like, like in college football, when you score a touchdown like that, and that celebration where you just dropped the ball near the goal line, just dropped it. And the game said incomplete, like, uh, five for seven now instead of five for six. So that's an incomplete pass. So that game, that, that, that catch was always scripted to be dropped. That's what I'm trying to say. It was always going to be dropped. Because that's a football, if football logic says that's a fumble. Now, again, these are going to be, these are, like, things that are minor but need to be addressed. Because week one, when we start playing, the last thing I'm going to be doing is dealing with fumbles. Or dealing with incomplete passes on wide open catches. Because that's really good. That's going to be a great way to kill the game early. Because that's what they have to realize too. A lot of these things that they do can kill a game, right? So if, if people are playing ultimate, if people are playing Madden Week One, and um, there's meta being ran against them, also people don't understand. They think you're just better than them. Like casual players won't notice certain things like that. A casual player will notice that they're throwing wide open passes and they're being dropped, like consistently, and that will turn a casual player into like this game's trash. Now ultimate team users or people who are more uh, pro level or, or understand more about the game will be like. Oh, but the game's always trash. We just wait for it. Casual players don't know the game's always trash. They just think that this game is trash and they leave. They don't know that's going to be fixed pretty soon or that they'll adjust those things. So they got to make sure that a lot of these big cons are really fixed come week, uh, you know, like come at least after the beta so that people aren't going to be leaving this game early. Because that's what happened this year. A lot, there was a lot of issues early in the year with, you know, content and ultimate team, some other gameplay issues. And people left the game super early. The man meta, again, the meta doesn't bother me as much. There's always going to be a meta. It's more about things like dropping the catch. Um, as far as game speed goes, guys, and I will get to rock catching in a second, game speed, I've been trying to tell everyone, I don't think that's actually the game speed. I do think that they keep it slower in beta mode just to make sure they can check through things. I do think closer to the game, they will adjust based on uh, user feedback. And if you can see, guys, defense is pretty lackluster on the beta for one simple reason. The quarterbacks move faster than just about everyone, in my opinion. Like, when you give the running back the ball, slow. When you give the tight end the wide receiver the ball slow when you're when you're running with the skate bars on a quarterback you feel significantly faster than the team and you can scramble away from everyone yes now after you get past on a scrimmage it's different but that's like a big gameplay advantage where you can just make your reads all day tyree kill runs past everyone but this happened last beta too i think game speed will be adjusted and at the very least they were at least nerf and buff like pursuit angles as well as other stuff that defense will be able to keep up with faster guys like they have in the past years i don't think it's gonna be i don't think game speed is gonna be a problem and if it is guys we will adjust um when we first started playing madden 21 the beta last year people said this game was slow the user's dead there's no more user safety there's no more user linebacker this game sucks and here we are we played it all year 
it was actually the gameplay was actually pretty solid uh, to be completely honest with you guys so I don't think that I think 22 is gonna have a similar effect again it's next gen it's gonna feel different but guys from an animation standpoint like I said it's it has been great so I have hope with game speed yes I do think it'll either be tuned up or they will adjust some type of code for it and uh, some kind of dynamics for it to where the game speed matches other players I have noticed where Tyree kill feels slow, like when I'm running on a crosser with him and I catch it, like I feel like I can't beat the safety to the edge, which I usually can with Tyree kill, because that's who he is. And then I've had other instances of running backs where I feel like I can't get around a linebacker. But then running backs have great break tackle and, and you know, fighting between lane kind of animations. So the animations are there. Great animations. Um, face catching, that needs to be addressed ASAP. The face catching slash rock catch, whatever you want to call it, is definitely in there. Um, pick any receiver. Now, I've done it with smaller, but I've done Mike Evans. I've done DK Metcalf. And yes, I know they're supposed to be able to do stuff like this, but it's not a contested catch animation. It literally is like I bullet an outside streak and I lead it up or whatever, lead it to the outside. And when they go, the cornerback doesn't jump. The cornerback just looks at it like this. And the wide receiver just jumps in the air and catches it and comes back down uncontested and keeps running with it. Like I just rocket it right at his face. He just catches it and comes down with it. Now, I've noticed when there's actual animations that are involved, Typically, it's like realistic. They'll drop it. Like, so me and Zerk have done this. He throws the ball deep. One-on-one, -on -one, he's locked up. I, I I position my cornerback. I catch it. It's an interception. But then I do it back to him, and I lead it outside the way, like, I used to, I usually do it in Madden. And his cornerback can't even get up on it. Like, he's just boxed out. And I go right up, and it's not, the cornerback can't even, like, you know, like, they could try to jump and just, it's your fault, right? You try to jump, and you don't get it. He tries to swat. He can't even swat. Literally, I just go up like this. And I land straight down and keep running. And it's a touchdown every time. And it's happened, like, I'd say out of, like, 20 attempts, I've at least probably scored him 15 out of the 16 times. It was pretty crazy, especially the first day. I forget which wide receiver I was using. It was every single play. I just kept doing it. I kept doing it every single play, and there was nothing he could do. I can't remember who it was with. I was the Chiefs, and then I was... Uh, it, wasn't, it, wasn't, it wasn't Metcalf, and it wasn't Mike Evans. It's the other tall guy. Yeah, I'm, I'm blanking completely here, but... Point is, rock catching needs to be addressed. Game speed needs to be addressed, but I think it will be addressed. Um, defense has to be addressed entirely, guys. Usering is horrible. Like, yes, I completely agree. They should adjust usering because they it's right. You should not be able to cover four routes at once. Yes, that, that's frustrating. Anyone who's good with a safety that's fast can cover... Can easily cover the slant real quick, pop back out to the halfback angle, and then come back up on the post I was just developing, and actually catch up, which is absurd that a, you know, a safety's here, right? This is not an SB wide receiver. The, safe, the wide receiver takes off, safety's here with the slant, here with the angle, and then gets back up to the, the wide, how's a 99 speed receiver that's fast in the safety, running a straight line up the field, and you're able to cover everything and then come back up and beat him on that straight line? Yes, that needs to be adjusted, but... I can't even use their single player. Like, if I try to use their player one-on-one, -on -one, they always outrun me. Even if I have, like, I I've been with Isaiah Simmons, and I've been outran by Zerk on with, with tight ends. Like, can't keep up. Um, feet movement, yeah. I, again, I don't agree to cover multiple people, but they need better change of direction just a little bit. Because if they're running a halfback angle, right, usually you can go like this. Like, like this. you sit on it, you sit in it, and you cut back in with them. I can't even cut back in with them. That cut just completely stops me. I do agree I should be able to run 99 speed back and forth but I should be able to at least change my feet direction at a decent pace that's faster than other people if I'm faster than them, right? Um, also, pick animations. I've noticed, again, like, you're just not getting up there right now. People aren't jumping. Uh, linebackers, again, aren't jumping, which I don't find that. I find kind of stupid because in real life, linebackers do jump. Again, I, I they don't jump 10 feet in the air. Yes, it should not be like Madden 20 and Madden 19 where I used to use Miles Jack and Franchise, and he used to jump up, like, 10 feet in the air and pick people off like a safety. But they should be able to jump. You know how many times I've had easy picks? Like, easy picks. Like, I'm right there. I just happen to be on a linebacker. Or my linebacker's a computer, and he just won't. He goes like this. They don't, they don't even put their hands up. They don't even try. Um, they, they had to fix that. Like, yes. They shouldn't be able to jump 10. If, if the ball is 3 feet above their head, right like up here, they, they can't get to it. That's fine. They can at least try. But it should not be as simple as if a ball goes over a linebacker's head. If it's not thrown at his Like, it literally has to be thrown at face level. The only way it's ever face level at a linebacker is if you're... you're and even if you're using him... Remember, if you're using him one-on-one -on -one like a man he'll go the guy will catch it over the linebacker it has to be like one of those situations where they're running like an in route and you back up your linebacker right in front of him and you're just standing there ready to catch it facing him if you're turned around linebackers just all year have been just completely hoed they got to fix that um again hopefully they fix that in this and that kind of wraps up most of my biggest cons for the beta like that really bothered me like i said defensive zones oh it's defensive zones of course um i play with tyre we actually have to ban tyre kill and rugs because we just throw it all game now rugs is a little bit better because i mean a little bit worse because we have Derek Carr, so the throws aren't exactly getting there like they do with Mahomes. But yeah, we have to ban Tyreek Kill. Mahomes is throwing 80 yards standing, and he's actually he's overthrowing Tyreek. And I've never seen this. They gotta fix this too. So Mahomes, I, I throw an 80-yard pass, right? 80 yards standing. Mahomes actually gets to the, throws the ball. I think he overthrows Tyreek. 
Then Tyreek gets a last second burst and he actually outruns the 80 yard pass and has to come back to it. They gotta fix that because then by then the safety is there or, or, or Tyreek can't score a touchdown because he has to stand still and catch it. I think they will fix it, but overall it's been pretty fun. It's been a fun beta, but these are my cons. These are my biggest cons that I've really been kind of concerned about. Uh, run, a little bit more dynamic running back speed. Running backs and wide receivers kind of feel like linebackers. Uh, they got to fix that a little bit. Animations are great though. We'll do a pros list tomorrow if you guys did like this, but that's about it for today's video. Enjoy the rest of your day. Comment down below your biggest cons and your biggest pros for next video. Thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe. I'm out. Peace.